Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some resin flower coasters. So let's jump in and get started. Off camera, I filled up my molds all the way to the top with clear resin. And I'm using the Platinum 360 resin today. It's the best resin I've tried to make flower coasters. I don't let my resin sit at all because it only has a 20 minute working time. I just mix my resin and pour it right away. You can get it off eBay. I'll link it down below. Um, so I'm just going to go in with some sapphire blue alcohol ink from Let's Resin and some silver crushed glass bits from Laura's Art Corner. I'm just going to place those down right in the center. We're going to be doing three blue flowers today. And if you want to see how I did this red one, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss that video. I'm going to be posting a separate video for the red flower. So I'm just just dropping down about nine drops of the alcohol ink here. This technique is so easy to do and I'm going to take my little stir stick and I'm going to swirl it around to blend the alcohol ink drops. Um, you want to make sure you just work on the surface of the resin. You don't want to push your silicone stir stick down to the bottom of your mold because you can scratch your mold and damage your mold. So I'm just working on the surface of the resin and you can get these molds from Let's Resin. I'll link them down below as well along with my coupon code. And to draw my flowers, I'm going to be using the back of a paintbrush. This works really good to draw your flowers. Again, I'm only working on the surface of the resin. I'm not pushing down to the bottom of the mold. And I'm taking that back of the paintbrush, dipping it into the white, letting any blobs of white drip back into my product container, and then I'm drawing my upside down hearts. I'm going to draw four large upside down hearts, and then I'm going to do a smaller upside down heart underneath each of those and then add a little bit more white around the perimeter of the mold. And you can see right here that one had kind of like a thicker line of white. You want to make sure you smooth those out otherwise they're going to show up as blobs in your flower coasters. And same thing here, just going into my white, drawing a little upside down heart. And my white that I'm using is Angel White Epoxy Paste. You can get it from Laura's Art Corner. I take a tiny bit and mix it into one ounce of clear resin. Um, and I'll link my video showing how I mix my white down below in the description box. In that video I show step by step how I mix my white. Here I'm just adding a little bit more white to the perimeter of the flower and that's going to be it. I'm going to do the same technique for each of these blue flowers. I'm going to go ahead and do the other two off camera and here I'm just going in with a toothpick and smoothing out any thicker lines of white that I had on there. Um, I did the same exact technique for each of these and they did turn out slightly different but all still beautiful. Here's how they turned out. Absolutely gorgeous. This technique is so easy. I hope you give it a try. Um, the Platinum 360 resin is fantastic for making flowers. It's the best I've tried. Um, it has a lot to do with how fast the resin sets up and the viscosity of the resin. But let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. And um, going back to the white that I used. I use the angel white epoxy paste whenever I make flower coasters. So what I do is I just take my stir stick, dip it inside the product container. It comes in a jar, stir it up, scrape off all the excess that is left on my stick. And I only use the tiny bit that is left on my stir stick in one ounce of clear resin. And I do it the same way every single time. It only takes a tiny bit of white, but um, I'll be sure to link the video showing step-by-step step how I mix the white down below. And I'll link all the products I use down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. I loved this one because you can see the little upside down heart. Super pretty. Let me know what you guys think of these. Let me know what colors I should do next. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, so you don't miss the red flower coaster that I was also working on when I made these. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.